John McConnell, President and CEO of Victoria Gold. Uh, Victoria is a venture listed uh, company. I think there's uh, three things that separate us from many venture listed companies. Number one, we have cash. Our treasury currently sits at uh, 17 million, which will easily take us through to 2018. Second thing is, is we have a very large, undeveloped, yet fully permitted asset in the Yukon when in production will produce over 200,000 ounces of gold per year. Third thing is uh, we have great exploration upside. Uh, we're currently focused on an area called Olive, which is about two kilometers from our uh, primary asset, Eagle, and we're finding higher grade gold there at similar recoveries, so could have a real impact on the overall project economics. Again, it's uh, Eagle. It's in the center of the Yukon, about uh, 400 kilometers north of the capital city of Whitehorse. Um, fully road accessible. Uh, it's actually the first time I've had a project uh, in northern Canada that has I can drive to. Um, we're also within 30 kilometers of grid power, so we have an agreement in place with Yukon Energy Corp to provide power during construction and operations. It'll be a very uh, simple open pit valley leach with a gold recovery plant. Uh, mine life of 10 years, very favorable strip ratio of 1.45 to 1, and again will produce over 200,000 ounces of gold per year in production at a cash cost of in the order of 650 per ounce, all in sustaining cost of uh, around 750 per ounce. Yeah, certainly I have. I uh, probably the largest individual shareholder of the company. Uh, currently have about two and a half million shares. Um, I was buying last November primarily our, because of tax loss selling. Our share price dropped below ten cents per ounce. Uh, it's turned out to be the best trade I've made in a while because uh, we're up over uh, eighteen cents now. So it's been a double since I bought in November and. Will probably double or triple over the next six months uh, as people come aware of our project. Uh, the three things: uh, uh, cash, certainly sitting with 17 million in the bank right now. Number two, fully permitted. There's not many uh, sizable deposits in a good safe jurisdiction that are fully permitted for construction. And three, great upside on the exploration potential. With cash, we're able to still continue to do exploration. As I say, uh, you know, we've been focused on an area called Olive, which is two kilometers north. Um, it's sizing up very nicely, and uh, you know, we would hope to get some numbers out later this year and uh, produce an updated feasibility study. But we're not going to stop with that. Uh, there's another area called Shamrock, north of Olive. We want to do the exploration drilling there and metallurgical test work. So there'll be uh, news flow from the drill bit as well as from the study base over the next uh, uh, 12 months. Somebody asked me how many years I've been coming to PDAC and I had to think about it for a few minutes, but I think my first one was 1984, so I'm a bit of a veteran of PDAC. Um, I think it's a great uh, few days of catching up with people in the business. Uh, being in Toronto, this is the source of most of the uh, financing for money in the world, so get to meet with bankers and analysts, so I look forward to a great week here. Thank you.